Hi, I'm Spencer Dale, BP's Chief Economist and a long-time visitor and admirer of Oman. I want to talk to you today about low-carbon hydrogen and in particular the potential role Oman can play as a major producer of green hydrogen. Low carbon hydrogen is likely to play a critical role in helping the world get to net zero. When thinking about how to decarbonize the global energy system, the first step is to electrify as many energy uses as possible and power them using renewable energy. Think switching internal combustion engine cars to electric cars or natural gas boilers to heat pumps. But there are some energy uses and processes which are far harder to electrify. It's not possible to electrify, for example, some industrial processes such as steel production or chemical production. The same is true of long distance aviation and marine transportation. Now, some of these energy needs can be met by bioenergy and biofuels. But there's a limit to how much bioenergy the planet can sustainably make. As such, many of the energy uses which can't be electrified are likely to be met by low carbon hydrogen or low carbon hydrogen derivatives such as ammonia or methanol. Today, many countries around the world, from Europe to Japan, the USA to China, are developing strategies and policies to support the increasing use of low carbon hydrogen, especially within industry and transport. The market for low carbon hydrogen is small today, but is likely to grow rapidly over the next 10 to 15 years. There are different types of low carbon hydrogen which can potentially meet that demand, but over time, the most important form of low carbon hydrogen is likely to be green hydrogen. Green hydrogen is made from electrolysis of water using renewable based electricity, predominantly wind and solar power. The most competitive places to produce green hydrogen will be countries and regions which have plentiful supplies of wind and solar resources. And that's where Amman comes in. Amman is internationally recognised as being blessed with abundant levels of wind and solar resources. Amman also has several other important advantages. It has plentiful amounts of land available for large scale developments and it has five industrial ports, three of which already have the capacity to handle and export ammonia. That's a powerful combination. The world-renowned International Energy Agency, the IEA, suggested that Amman has the potential to be one of the top five or six largest hydrogen exporters in the world by 2030. Amman's role in green hydrogen has the potential to provide an important boost to its economy and employment. By attracting low carbon industries to locate in Amman, bringing inward investment, new technology know-how and local employment. And by becoming a major export hub, exporting hydrogen in the form of ammonia, providing a, an important source of external income. BP is a keen supporter of the Amani's goal to be a major green hydrogen producer and aims to be a part of that. BP's history in Amman goes back over 90 years. And today, BP produces over a third of Amman's natural gas supply. Building on that long-term relationship, BP last year formed a strategic partnership with Oman to progress potential renewable energy and hydrogen development. An integrated project, including onshore wind, solar and green hydrogen production. Green hydrogen is likely to play a critical role in helping the world decarbonise and get to net zero. Oman is well positioned to play a major role in this developing market. And BP is keen to help Oman maximise that role, drawing on our long and successful partnership together. Mm -hmm.